What's going on guys, Thomas Garretts here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make $5,000 per month on YouTube without ever showing your face on camera using OpenAI's free AI software, ChatGPT. And if you've paid attention to the internet at all the past week, you've seen AI apps absolutely take the internet by storm. Especially on Facebook, you see everyone and their mom posting their new AI generated profile pictures. I mean, you literally got AI apps on the app store above the most popular apps in the world. And if you go to Google Trends, you got artificial intelligence trending higher than it's ever trended before. But the question is, is it all just hype? And part of me thought it was. That's until I started hearing everyone talking about ChatGPT. So I decided to give it a shot because why not? It's free. And it absolutely blew my mind. It actually made a complete YouTube script in seconds. Something that takes me hours to do. And not only am I going to show you how to use ChatGPT, but I'm going to show you how to make an entire YouTube video completely step by step. And the best part is you don't even have to do any of the work if you don't want to. And all I ask of you is to smash the like button and make sure you watch the entire video so you don't miss out on anything because this method is truly going to blow your mind. But now, assuming you've already smashed the like button, Let's get into the video. All right, so like I said in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make $5,000 per month using that free AI software, ChatGPT. But real quick, before we get started, I wanna show you that you can actually make $5,000 or a lot more per month on YouTube without showing your face. And right here are the results from the exact channel niche we're gonna be using in this video, which I'll reveal shortly. But as you can see, they're making upwards of 10K per month, just in YouTube ad revenue, by the way. And this number is probably a lot higher, but I chose just in the middle 5k because let's be real, 5k would probably change your life. And I told you I'd reveal the channel niche, so this is the channel. It's Animal Insider, so it's the animal niche. And in this video, more specifically, we're gonna focus on the dog niche because there's actually a secret monetization method we're gonna use that can make you even more money, and you can start making money right away without being monetized on YouTube. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So don't skip anything. This is very important to follow step by step, okay? So after you have your niche, typically the next step would be to actually create your channel around your niche. But you're watching the video right now, so you know how to create a YouTube channel already. But one thing I will suggest is make sure you use like animal or dog in the channel name. But don't get hung up too much on channel names because you can literally change the channel name at any point. So it really isn't that important. And I'll link to a video at the end of this video where I show you a cool way to come up with channel names, how to create your channel and all that if you're stuck on that part. But don't worry about that. The most important thing is starting to create the videos because nothing else matters if you're not creating the videos. So let's just hop right into that. And the first step for that is coming up with a video idea. And there's tons of ways to do that. Like for example, we could go to Animal Insider and on their channel, just go to their videos and look at their popular videos and then recreate a video like that. But what I like to do is I like using a tool called Morning Fame. I use this for all my videos. Like if you scroll down here and you look at all my videos here, this is how I plan every single one of my videos. And the cool thing is you can go to topics right here. And basically what you can do is type in a search term and you don't have to have like a long search term. You can literally type in dog or dog breeds, right? And then watch this. So obviously that's not your title. That's not your search term. You want a uncommon keyword because it's great for smaller channels. So these are gonna be longer keywords or search terms. And basically you can see right here, most popular dogs in the world, best guard dog breeds, dangerous dog breeds, small dog breeds. So you can just use those and then once you click one, so let's do small dog breeds, okay? So you click that and then you just go to continue for step three. By the way, to get a Morning Fame account, you have to have an invite code. So just use the link in the description below to get your invite to Morning Fame. And the first month is actually free with my invite. So make sure to use that link. And I really like Morning Fame because it kind of tells you if it's a good video or not once you've started uploading videos. But at the start, you're not gonna have any data inside of it. So things will probably look a little different for you. And it will always have like little helpful tips right here in videos that kind of explain things if you're confused. But don't focus too much on that at the start until you start uploading videos. What you wanna do is you just wanna go up here to suggestions. And now you can do small dog breeds that don't shed, small dog breeds that can be left alone. You can also do like 
10. So now it's going to say top 10 small dog breeds in India. It just gives you so many more ideas. This one is probably one of the better ones. I'd say top 10 small dog breeds for first time owners. That's great, right? So we'll choose that one. And there's a lot more you can do once you choose for step four. This is where I plan my entire description, tags, all of that. But the most important thing is the title because we need that to write the script, which is the next step. Now, this is probably the most important part of the video. You got to get a chat GPT account. Right now it's free. The only thing I had to do, so for example, if I open up a new window and I believe it's chat.openai.com and then what you want to do right here is click sign up and then you create an account, do I'm not a robot and then at least it asked me, I don't know if it's still doing that, but you have to put in your phone number and then get texted a code and then type that in just like with Google and stuff like that. Pretty simple, right? So just create your free account. And then once you have that, just you'll be logged in or whatever. So I'm going to log in quick. So back in chat GPT, you're going to say write a YouTube script about and then you just paste in your title right there. Okay, so let's hit send and see what it does. And as you can see, I mean, it's it's absolutely insane. And then once it's done, I want to show you something else. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, it's a literal YouTube script. They say, hi there and welcome to our channel. Today we're talking about the top 10 small dog breeds for first time owners. So that's perfect intro. That's what I like doing on videos like this as well. Quick and to the point, especially as a new channel. All right, then they list the 10 dog breeds and then they say, those are our top 10 small dog breeds for first time owners. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Perfect right? So what I would do first is I would copy all this and I would put it in like a document. Okay. So I'm going to open up a document here and just paste it in there for now. Okay. Now there's a couple different things you can do. If you want the script a little longer, because you probably want to go a little deeper on each of these rather than just like one sentence for each one dog, you can do it two ways. Okay, you could ask them to basically, can you go into more detail for each dog and type that or what you can do is you can say, can I have three facts about chihuahuas and then do that for each of the dog breeds. So whatever works best for you, you could try both of them to see what comes up better. And yeah, so I'll just do this. For example, can you go into more detail for each dog? and kind of see what it does. So I'll skip ahead and show you what it does. And as you can see, it gave much more detail there. It's probably much better for a YouTube video because you don't want your video to be super short. Um, and it kind of pooped out at seven because it got so long. So again, you could just ask them to do uh, details for each dog individually or say for the first five and then the second five to make it kind of split up and easier for their system. Because again, there's just so much traffic going into their website. So sometimes that happens. But I mean, still, it's all unique content. Like for example, on this plagiarism detector, I just copy and pasted it, right? And it was 2% plagiarized from this one sentence. They also have a short coat that requires minimal grooming because it's in some blog here. And that's not plagiarism. But if you were to outsource it and go to like, Fiverr or Upwork, sometimes those people literally just copy and paste straight from other people's stuff, which is not good. So this is all unique and it works really well. So for example, if you were going to do this video, I would definitely have a longer script. But for this one, we'll just keep it short because I don't want to waste your time. And I'll probably just do like two of these just for example. Um, so I don't waste your time or whatever. But yeah, so that's pretty much in a nutshell scripts. But now how we're going to actually turn that into a video is with another software. And that software is NVIDIA. And if you've watched my channel before, you know, I've showed how to use NVIDIA before because the software just works. But in this video, I'm going to show how to use NVIDIA a way that I've never shown before. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And also you can click the link in the description below to get started for free. But I will say one thing. If we go to pricing right here, like I said, they do have a free account, but as you can see on the business account, it gets rid of the watermark. So basically if you're using the free account, you're going to have a watermark on all of your YouTube videos, which is really unprofessional. And plus it's only $15 a month if you pay yearly. And if you use the code Garrett's 30, when you sign up, you get a 30% off discount for life. 
So it's really like 10 bucks a month. And if you're actually gonna do the work yourself with this software rather than outsource it to someone else, you're saving so much money because you're gonna pay much more than $10 per video to outsource it. So if you're paying $10 per month and you can do the whole video inside of here, it just makes sense. You know what I mean? But with that being said, just make sure you get an account. If you can only afford the free, you can only afford the free. I personally have unlimited, but you can start with the business or unlimited, whatever you want. Okay, so once you have an account, then this will be the home page of NVIDIA. And like I said, I'm going to show you how to do it a different way because usually I show you how to use it in the text to video option. And that's where you just put your whole script in a text and then it automatically takes that text and turns it into a video with text on the screen and it picks images and videos for you. And that's how I usually show it. But the reason I'm not going to show it like that in this video is because if you do the research and you go to like Animal Insider, videos, you'll see that they don't really have much text on the screen. So you want to kind of mimic what they're doing. And also the other benefit is basically when you're doing the voiceover for the text to video option after the fact, because you can't do it before, it's more work to line it up with the video because you have to line it up with the text that's on the screen and everything. So for this one, we're gonna use the pro editor because not only can you do the voiceover first and then add video and images to the screen directly all in in video, which is super easy to do. You can actually, if you want to outsource the voiceover to someone else where you can't do that if you do the text to video one, okay? So that's why we're doing it differently. So you just click right there on plus and then go to landscape. Now, like I said, we're gonna do the voiceover first. And the cool thing is I'm gonna show you how to do it where anyone can do it. You don't need any fancy microphone or anything like that. Okay, but the first thing you wanna go to video and just put something on the screen. So I just typed in dog right there. And then right here, you can just add anyone to the canvas and just press plus and right here, you can see add. Okay, so just add that. Now you can see everything popped up here. Okay, so you can do the voiceover one of two ways. You can do it right there, just record it inside of NVIDIA. But the way I'm gonna show it is by doing it with your cell phone. Okay, and then what you're doing is you're uploading your voiceover after the fact. Okay, so like I said, you can pay someone to do the voiceover. You just send them your script and they do it and then you upload it, which I'll leave a link down below to Fiverr to a good voiceover artist for $5. But I highly suggest trying it yourself for the first time just to see if you can actually do it and get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Plus, everyone has a cell phone, so you really have no excuse. You don't have to upload the video if you really hate your voiceover, but just get out of your comfort zone. Just try it. I'm telling you that you will be proud of yourself, okay? So let me plug in my cell phone quick and then I'll show you how to do this. All right, so basically you wanna go to your voice memos on your phone and then you wanna pull up your script right here. Okay, let me make it a little bigger. You probably wanna actually talk into your, your phone, like you can't see me right now, but talk into your phone like this because the microphone's right there. So keep it a little close to your mouth, but not too close, okay? So let me hide this again and let me restart. Hi there and welcome to our channel. Today we're talking about the top 10 small dog breeds for first time owners. Number one, the Chihuahua is a small, actually for that, instead of saying what they say, you could do number one, the Chihuahua, and then you could say the next stuff. So you'd say, the Chihuahua is a small and energetic breed that is perfect for first time owners. They are easy to train and love to be around their owners. Number two, the Pomeranian. The Pomeranian is a small, fluffy breed that is also easy to train and loves to be around their owners. They are playful and energetic, making them a great companion for first time owners. Those are our top 10 small dog breeds for first time owners. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. All right, and then we're gonna hit end right there and now you got your recording. Right, it's the second one right there, okay? So now all you do is you literally, you can share it so I'm a Mac, so I have AirDrop, but you could email it, you could do it however you want, okay? So I'm gonna share it with my computer and I'll meet you back over there. All right, so right there, you can see the new recording. So now what we do is we're gonna go back to NVIDIA and then on voiceover, you wanna go to upload your voiceover file and then new recording and then open. So new recording two right there. So then you just hit plus. Now, once you got the full clip there, you can zoom in on certain spots, which it's probably better to be zoomed in on each spot so you can get it exact because what you're gonna to wanna to do is use this scissor button or press the letter C. So you see all this dead space right here? 
we're gonna cut that out of the entire video, cut the dead space out, and then cut out our mistakes. It's that simple, okay? So right here, dead space, letter C, and then you just delete it, hit backspace, and then move that back, okay? So you can cut out the dead space without listening, or you can listen to it and kind of do it as you go. And also make sure the, the volume isn't too loud, so you can click here and go to volume, and just turn it down a little bit if it is too loud, okay? So we'll do that. Hi there, and welcome to our channel. Today we're talking, so you see right there, more dead space. So what you wanna do is you can either hit C there and then go back, and you can actually put your cursor once you hit C, you can just drag it and it'll automatically stop at your cursor. So that's a little trick, or you can hit C on both spots. You see, now you can delete that, okay? And then again, drag it over, okay? So it's pretty, self-explanatory so you cut out the spaces and cut out the mistakes by pressing the letter c i know you can do that also a quick tip if you cut out like a big mistake instead of like sliding the whole clip backwards you can just right click that gray spot and hit delete or you can just click backspace after you clicked on it and uh yeah so just delete the rest of your mistakes and the rest of the blank spaces you want assuming you're following along and uh i'm gonna do the same and i'll be right Back. All right, so I just finished editing the full voiceover right there. So now what you want to do is as you're listening to it, you want to add in clips, okay? So at the start, let's hear what they say. Hi there, and welcome to our channel. All right, so hi there and welcome to our channel. So you can go to videos right here and just type in like YouTube channel, or you could type in something like welcome. And you've got a couple different options here. You could, you know, get someone waving at the start. You could add, you know, text with welcome. You know, it's totally up to you. I kind of like this one. And so you would just hit click add and then you would kind of just trim it if you want a certain part of the video, but you can cut that after the fact. So we'll just click, um, I'm just gonna hide that. We'll just click add. So right there, right at the start of the new clip, you see that little break right there. So you wanna just drag this over there and kind of see how that looks. Hi there and welcome to our channel. Okay, that looks good, but now you wanna make it a little bigger. So you can just drag this up like that, and there you go. All right, so now we hit play after that. Today we're talking about the top 10 small dog breeds for first time owners. Number so that video actually isn't bad, but again, you could go to video and do small dog um, if you wanted to use a different one. This one's cute. Okay, so I like this one. So we'll use that one and then add it. And then again, we'll drag it to that spot right where that part of the voiceover ends. And then what I'm personally gonna do is I'm gonna make it bigger again. So bring it up there and then go like that. I'm gonna add some text, okay? So what we we're gonna do is go to text and you could go to just regular text or you can find these little like pre-made texts right here and they kind of have like animations, which you can add after the fact, but they're pre-made, right? So we could look at like minimalist right here, see if there's any good ones. Let's do this one. And you're gonna wanna make it the same size as this, okay? And then just click on this twice, double click it, and you can edit the text, okay? So I would do top 10 dog breeds, and then I'm gonna hit enter, for first time owners, okay? Because I want them on two separate lines. And then you just wanna make this bigger like that and then make this smaller like that so it can hopefully go on two lines. There you go and go like that and there you go. Okay, and what you can do is you can hover over that and then highlight like the top part and then right here for text color, you could change the colors, okay? So like we could change it to a darker yellow like that and then you could go to text effects and you could add more text shadow if you want. So more blur, or you can get rid of the blur and kind of just like uh, have that little black thing coming off the side like that. Totally up to you, okay? And then also on text effects here, you see how the text background's yellow. You can change that right there, text background fill to black and uh, you could change that background to black too, or the outline. Yeah. One other thing I should show you is for the, the video behind here, you can add different effects by going to effects right there. So if you wanna do like uh, a focus blur, so if you click that right there, 
and then change like the intensity a little bit. You see how the background's kind of going crazy? So it kind of looks cool, right? So now watch it. Today we're talking about the top 10 small dog breeds for first time owners. So that's just a couple tricks what you can do, but basically you don't have to even do any of that. All you wanna do now is you just wanna add in videos and images of what's in the voiceover, right? So like, for example, we'll listen to this. Wawa is a small and energetic breed that is perfect for first time owners. So you could get like a video of the Chihuahua like barking or being happy or running around because that's energetic. You get what I'm saying? It's very simple. It just takes a little bit of time to add that stuff. But at the end of the day, this is gonna be a legit video. And these videos can go viral. I'm not telling you your first video is gonna go viral, but if you take the time to actually put in the work and make a good video, your videos will speak for themselves, okay? But if you try to like take shortcuts and use like AI robot voice for your voiceover instead of doing it yourself or hiring someone to do it, you're not gonna get any views, you're not gonna make any money and you have to actually put in the work, okay? So I hope that makes sense. But I guess I'll uh, finish this up off camera and come back and show you like the end result and uh, then I'll show you what to do next. All right, so I just finished editing the video and the last thing you wanna do before you actually export it is you wanna add some music, okay? So you can use some music right in here. It's copyright free. We can just go to like, let's go to Playful and move your cursor to the beginning and then you just hit add, okay? So we'll just add this one. And then for the audio right here, go to volume and you just wanna have it pretty low. You don't wanna have it like overpowering your voiceover. So let's just test that for first time owners. That's probably a little quiet. I can't really hear it. Every song is gonna be different, but we'll just stick at like uh, something like that. And then all you do, you go up here to export and then go to 1080 and then export it. Now it's gonna take a little bit to actually export. So I'll come right back when it's finished. All right, so it's finished. Let's, uh, let's watch the finished product here. Hi there and welcome to our channel. Today we're talking about the top 10 small dog breeds for first time owners. Number one, the Chihuahua. The Chihuahua is a small and energetic breed that is perfect for first time owners. They are easy to train and love to be around their owners. Number two, the Pomeranian. The Pomeranian is a small, fluffy breed that is also easy to train and loves to be around their owners. They are playful and energetic, making them a great companion for first time owners. Those are our top 10 small dog breeds for first time owners. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. That video is pretty good, right? I mean, come on. But now we're not finished yet. We got a couple more steps, so just keep paying attention, all right? So right now I'm gonna go to just my example channel right here. And then I'm gonna hit create and upload video. And then you just hit select files and then the video is right there. So you can double click it or hit open. So I'm just gonna double click it. Now I'm gonna move this over here and we have in morning fame, we have our title right there. So we're gonna copy that and we're gonna go over here and we're gonna paste it. But now there's two more things we gotta do. And the description is the most important because that's where we're gonna put our secret monetization link. And I'll show you that in a second. And then we have the thumbnail. But before you can do either of those, you have to go to your settings and you gotta go to your channel and go to feature eligibility. So right here, you see standard features enabled. You'll already have that. Intermediate features, you have to verify your phone number so you can get custom thumbnails. But then the third one, this is actually new and you actually have to do like a verification. So you either have to do a video verification, send a picture of your valid ID, or you just have to be uploading for like two months, okay? So I would just suggest doing the valid ID. I mean, that's very simple. Just take a picture of your, your ID or your passport or whatever, and then you'll get access to add the links into your video descriptions. Now, if for some reason you don't have an ID, you can add the link to your pinned comment, but you definitely wanna be able to add it to your video description, okay? So now, back here, like I said, we gotta add the link in the description, okay? And the fastest and best way for the dog niche to get a monetization link is to go to this free website called ClickBank 
Com. So just hit start here and create an account completely free. Now, if you just go to the marketplace at the top right there and then just literally search for dog, it's going to be the first product that comes up. So you see brain training for dogs. It's got a high gravity score, which means people are having success selling this as an affiliate. And how it works is you put this link in your description and every time someone clicks that link and purchases, you can make up to $42 per sale. And most importantly, you have recurring commissions. So you can make money recurring that's what you really want okay so all you have to do is go right here and hit promote and then you see we have our nickname right there t garrett's you don't have to add the tracking id or anything you don't have to add that but just hit create hop link and then you get this long affiliate link and there's just one more step for this so you want to copy this and then go to another free website bitly.com okay so if you scroll down you can just paste in that long link right so paste that and then hit shorten okay so now this long ugly link is this nice short link and that's the link you're going to want to put into your description okay so i copied that and then back in our channel right here is where we would put it in our description okay so you would say brain training for dogs and then you could just put the link there. I like to use arrows in my description. If you go to my video description, you'll see arrows, but just do it however you want. But it's just important to actually have that because that's how you can make money as you're going. You don't have to wait to get monetized on YouTube or anything, okay? So obviously I can't do it in my description, so I'll just delete the H, but you get the idea there, right? Now, for the thumbnail, this is arguably one of the most important things, okay? I've already created one for this video because I don't want to waste your time, but I'll show you it. You can see right here, this is the finished thumbnail. And you can see, I just kind of looked at theirs and kind of modeled it off of that, you know what I mean? And this is with a free software, Canva, that I created all this, okay? And I show you how to use Canva and create thumbnails in my No Face YouTube course at nofaceyt.com if you wanna learn more about that. But basically, all I did is I just added an image of a dog, like I went to photos right here, and I typed in dog. Actually, I typed in small dog, and then I got this image right here, okay, and I clicked it, I added it, and then I added uh, like some grass to the background, and I think I just used this one right here. I added that to the background, and then I just added some text and put some effects on it. It's very simple to do, once you know how to do it. But like I said, I show you how to do all that in depth in my No Face YouTube course. So just make sure you actually make a thumbnail. Very important. So for now, I'm just gonna upload the one I did. So right there. And literally nothing else really matters that much. You wanna make sure you put no, not made for kids. And I still use tags, but tags, like right here, they really don't matter as much as they used to. But if you want to, and if you're using Morning Fame, you can just copy and paste a bunch of tags from there, right? So if I go back over to Morning Fame, they're gonna put all these tags right here anyways. So you can literally just copy these and then put them in here. And then all you wanna do is you wanna go to next, next, and you see no copyright issues found, which is great. And then next, and you wanna go to public and then publish. Now, you wanna go to the video link here. So we're not done yet. And then what you wanna do is basically take from your description right here and you wanna copy it and paste it into your comment. Okay, and then obviously add the H so the link works and hit comment. And you can see the link actually works there, but make sure to click these three dots, hit pin and then hit pin again and that'll put your comment at the top of the comments. That way everyone will see it first. So you can see if you click this, just for example, it takes us to the brain training for dogs. And if anyone purchases through this link, you earn a commission. And I know that link may seem so small, but that link is truly what changed my life. YouTube mixed with affiliate marketing is the reason I am where I am today. And there's a link in my description that's actually the exact challenge that I got started with and allowed me to start making money with affiliate marketing and truly is the only reason I didn't give up in my business. And it actually allowed me to quit my nine to five job and live the life I live now, all because of a simple link. So if you're interested in affiliate marketing, definitely check that link in the description down below. But if you're like, eh, I'd rather just focus on YouTube without showing my face, then you definitely wanna go to my No Face YouTube course at nofaceyt.com because I show you so much more about all of this and you actually get access to me in our private Facebook group and everything. But don't worry, if you have no money at all and you just wanna learn more about YouTube, you can click the video on the screen right now and that's all I got. I love you guys.
I'll see you on the next video.